Hello techies. In this tutorial, we are going to learn and work with OCR action. This tutorial, I'm going to divide into two parts. In the first part, we are going to learn what is OCR and we will learn about OCR action, which is available under Microsoft Computer Vision Actions. In the second part, we are going to work on a small use case or project with OCR. All right, first of all, we'll see what is OCR. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. Optical Character Recognition is a technology and a business solution for automating data extraction from printed or written text from a scanned document or image file and then converting the text into a machine readable form to be used for data processing like editing or searching. Power Automate Desktop enables users to read, extract, and manage data within an assortment of files through optical character recognition. All right. Now, let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Optical character recognition, OCR, detects text in an image and extracts the recognized characters into a machine usable character stream. If you see on my screen, this OCR action generates a list of words or tags that are relevant to the content of the supplied image by using Computer Vision API. All right, now we'll see the inputs for the OCR action. The first action is the server location. The server location, we are having so many locations or regions over here. If you see, I'm having West US, West US 2, East US, East US 2, and many more server locations are there. Now, which location we need to select? If you see on my screen, I have created Computer Vision API with the name of Power Automate Computer Vision API. I'm going to click on keys and endpoints over here. Over here, you can see I'm having location or region. There I have given it as East US. The same region we are going to select in OCR action. There you can see I'm having server location. I'm going to select East US. And the subscription key, this key also we are going to provide from the Computer Vision API, which we have generated in Microsoft Azure. Let me go back to Microsoft Azure. There you can see I'm having two keys. One is key one, another one is key two. Let me copy one of the key. And there I'm going to provide the subscription key over here. All right. Now the third parameter is the provide image. There are two input methods supported by this OCR action. One is from file, another one from GCS. From file, we are going to upload a file from the local computer. Whenever you are going to select it, you have to give the option image file at the local path over here. Whenever you are going to select from GCS, you have to provide image URL from the Google Cloud Storage. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select from file so that I will provide the image from the local path. All right. The fifth parameter is the long wave. So the particular image that you want to extract the data by using OCR in which long way you need to mention. In that case, you will give English, Swedish, Portuguese, these kind of languages, you are going to mention it over here. Next one, detection orientation. The particular image which we are going to select in that image direction or the orientation is up or down or whatnot. So we have to mention the orientation over here of the particular image. By default, it is up and the long way by default, it is in English. Now, if you see advanced, I'm having timeout. This is the timeout for the agent and the server connection. The default timeout for this thing is 30 seconds. Till that time, it will wait for the connectivity. If it is failed to connect in between these 30 seconds to Power Automate Desktop and the Cognitive API, in that case, it will throw a timeout error. Now, we'll see the output parameters or variables produced. Over here, you can find two outputs or variables produced. One is JSON response. Another one is the status code. As a successful request and response, 
the OCR action will return the data in the JSON format. The data will be stored in the JSON response variable. And if you see over here, I'm having status code. There are two things that we have. One is 200, another one is 400. If the request and response between the Power Automate desktop and the Microsoft Cognitive Service is success, then in that case, it will give us 200, whereas 400 will be given for the bad request and response. All right. Now, what I'm going to do for the best practice, I'm going to store this subscription key in my variable. I'm going to use set variable action on the workspace. For this variable, I'm going to give a name over here as subscription key. And then inside the subscription to value, I'm going to provide the same subscription key, which I have copied from the computer vision API. All right, let's click on save. I'm going to use the subscription key variable inside the OCR action in subscription key input parameter. I'm going to select subscription key. And then I need to provide the image, provide image from file. In that case, I need to select an image from the local folder. All right, let me go to the path. I'm having an image in E colon power automate desktop OCR. There you can see I'm having an image with the name of OCR image. This is the printed text image over here. Inside that I'm having printed text in the particular image. All right, let's click on open. Now, if you see the long ways, the default long ways is English and the detect orientation, it is default orientation is up. All right. We have provided all the required input parameters over here. Now, I will show you an example over here, which we have selected for the image. There you can see on my screen, I'm having OCR image. Inside that image, I'm having printed text over here. You can see inception of the special collections. I'm going to read or extract the data by using OCR action. All right, now let's click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and the flow has executed successfully. Now, if you see the status code, I'm having 200 and the JSON response, I'm having some data. Now, if you see the JSON response over here, I'm having name that is English, text angle inside that I'm having zero degrees and the orientation is up. These are the two default, right? We have given long as English, that is the default one. And the one orientation, it's up. Now, if you see the data inside the image, I'm having inside the regions. There you can see the lines and the words. Let me expand one by one. Let's click on more. And inside that, I'm having single image. This single image having all the outputs, like number of lines and the words. Let's click on more once again. There you can see the first one inside the image. I'm having n number of lines over there. So if you click once again in more, there you will find all the lines over here. I'm having approximately 32 lines in the particular image. By using OCR, what we have done, we have extracted the data line by line. And also, if you observe each line having some of the words in the text format, right? If you see in the first line, I'm having some text that is the inception of these special collections, right? If you click on more in the line one, that I'm having some words inside that words that I'm having the text called inception of the special collections. That five words that I'm having it, the five lines over here, it has been shown over here. Let's click on close. Now I want to read line by line, which we have extracted the data by using OCR. And inside that, I want to know the words also. All right. Now what I will do, I will use for each action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, the values to iterate inside the JSON response, we are having regions. Inside the regions, we are having lines, right? I'm going to give the same value over here at JSON response of regions. I'm having only one email so that one region so that I'm going to get the values as zero. And inside that, I'm having lines. Each and every line, I'm going to get the values in the current line. I'm going to store it in the current line item. All right, let's click on save. Now, each and every line having some words again, right? 
once again i'm having it's a list of words that what we have let me drag and drop one more for each action inside the for each action and there i'm going to select value street rate what is the value street rate i'm having current line item right i'm going to select that inside that i'm having words that is the list of objects that what we have right i'm going to store this words in the current word or current word item let's click on save now i want to know what are the words it has been extracted so i will simply use display message let me drag and drop this display message action inside the for each for the particular current work item now i'm going to give the message title as ocr output and then the message to display what is the output that we want to display in the current work item we are having text right now let me go to the variables there you can see i'm having current work word item inside that i'm having text the text i want to display right now all right let me click on save now our flow is ready and we are going to read the data inside the image by using ocr action and then to know the output what kind of output we are going to get it even we can see over here in the current line item current word item also but to make you understand what i have done i have used display message inside each and every line i am having words in the words i am having the text i am going to display the text by using display message all right now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started i am having the output over here in inception another one of the special collections this is the first line that what we have in a such a way it will go through each and every line and then it will read the entire data so that i don't want to display the in the display message so that we'll get hundreds of words over here each and every time so that i'm going to stop the execution over here to make you understand what i'm going to do i'm just going to going to disable this display message and then once again i will run it so that you will get the response you can see the response in the each and every current item over here all right flow execution started now you can see over here we are going to get all the values in the current line item as well as current word item and the value will be displayed in the display message if we are going to be enable it all right i hope you understand how to retrieve or extract the data in the particular image or printed text by using ocr action in the second part i will explain a small use case where we are having the data inside the particular folder in the image format and then by using ocr we are going to read the text and then by using write text to file we are going to write the data to the text file before that i will show you the entire project which i have implemented and then we are going to explain in the second part there you can see on my screen i am having some images in the folder called scanner documents i am having four images right these four images we are going through the ocr and then ocr will extract the data and then what it will do it will each and every line it will go through the each and every line and it will write the data into the particular text file in the destination path and then it will write the data into the file particular file with the name of ocr output there you can see i am having ocr output over here in the output folder there i am having ocr if you open this what it will do it is going to be line by line it is going through the document and then it is going to be read the document and then you can see all the documents whatever the data we have it has been read successfully over here all right the entire project i'm going to explain in the second part thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day